It's not going to be as merry of a Christmas as it could have been for the Indiana Pacers. They went into the weekend hoping to extend a two-game winning streak, and they came out of it with a two-game losing streak coming against probably the best and the worst teams in the league. The, thing, the only thing that bothers me is that, not the only thing, but one of the things that bothers me, we make the same mistakes a lot. Add up those mistakes, and you come up with 20 losses in 27 games for the Pacers. The most consistent thing about this team now is how they're losing. Against Boston and Cleveland over the weekend, the Pacers came out blazing, built up a big lead, and then something happened. Uh, I like concentration, you know, every position, whether it's defense or offense, you know, I think, you know, we lose concentration a lot. Concentration in shot selection lately. The Pacers have been forcing the ball up too quickly. I don't mind us shooting the ball from outside if we've at least explored taking the damn ball to the basket or getting the ball inside and making them change defensively. But in the game Saturday with Cleveland, it was the Pacers who had to alter their defense. Instead of building on a 16-point second quarter lead, Vern Fleming and Tony Brown were scrapping to make up a 12-point fourth quarter deficit, which proved to be too much. Do you hear some of the things he says? Is it just hard sometimes to execute? Uh, that's what it is, man. I think... Uh... Lack of execution. You know? I think we, everybody understand what the coach wants us to do out there. Just that going out there and doing it. You know, it's just consistency is the, the thing with me, and and uh, you know, it's mainly what I have to concentrate on: going on every night and playing hard and playing aggressive. And it's something I really haven't been doing this season yet, and, and something that you know that I'm aware of. And uh, just going to have to, you know, just keep keep uh, pressing on. Maybe it's a positive sign that the Pacers at least recognize their problems, but are they capable of taking the next step and correcting them? I still think we're on a course that uh, is improving. It doesn't always show up in the wins and losses, but I think you know our, our graph is improving. We're getting better as players and individuals. I'd like to see us do it a little bit, I mean as individuals and as a team. I'd like to see us do it a little bit quicker. If they don't start doing it quick, the prospectus isn't very good. Six of the Pacers' next seven games are on the road. Their next chance is Wednesday night in Washington. The Pacers have already lost both of their games with the Bullets this season.